Thanks for coming out tonight. My name is John Boss and I'm the Vice President for College Advancement. I'd like to say just a few words about Henry and Helen Van Klaveren, the lead donors for this project. Henry and Helen are truly remarkable friends at Dort College. Neither of them ever attended college themselves, yet they have claimed Dort College as their own. Henry's vocation was as a nurseryman, and so they've taken a very special interest in providing for the landscape here at Dort College, and you can see the results of their generosity all around us from the welcoming corner at 4th Avenue and 7th Street to the main entrance to the green space uh, that now fills the interior of this campus and now capped off with this clock tower. Maybe even more so than that though, uh, Henry and Helen uh, have supported dozens of students who are on this campus today and even more students who are now graduates and who have taken their place in God's world and are serving all around God's world through their generous support of our scholarship program. And those results will be felt. Uh, the ripples will go on and on in places that we can't even imagine. I would ask you to join me in expressing your appreciation for all they have done for Dort College. And this is now my privilege as president of college to offer some words of dedication as we prepare to illumine this tower and initiate its carillon that will, we trust, bless our campus and community for decades to come. In biblical history, towers are mentioned as being built for one of two purposes. One purpose is as a tribute to human endeavor and achievement. And you might think that on a campus of higher education, that would surely be the goal of this new campus landmark as well. But there's also a different purpose and a different goal for which towers are built by God's people throughout their history. And that is as a monument to the grace of God and the power of his spirit who has brought us to this point. Mr. Boss and I can assure you that the donors who have presented this gift to this campus have that second purpose firmly in mind. More to the point, that is really the only purpose that would make any sense on our campus. So within the coming months, some key words from the vision of the founders will be ascribed on the kiosk here to the west of the tower. Not only will we emblazon those famous words of our college motto contained in the college seal, but we will also affix the words of our founders as they prayed for a college in which all of the coursework and all of the students' intellectual, social, and imaginative activities are permeated by the spirit and teaching of Jesus Christ. May that truly be the message of this tower as it rings out the joy of each hour lived in God's service and the carillon celebration of the seasons of God's grace by which that mission is pursued each day on this campus over which this sentinel now keeps watch. Please join me then in prayer. To you, the Lord of heaven and earth, we pray. As you have given your one and only Son so that the entire cosmos might be saved through him, may we now rededicate ourselves to ring out day and night 24-7 that news of your sovereign saving grace by which all things will be made new. May the music that resounds and the reminders of the passing time that are echoed from this tower inspire us all to even greater service for the honor of your name. And whether this tower be tolling the hours that are speeding by or echoing across this campus peals of praise and tribute to the honor and glory of your name, may the refrain we hear be always and forever the same. Soli Deo Gloria, to you alone be all the glory. Amen. Respond, O loyal hearts to door.